everybody, and welcome to the Mad Science Lab. I'm so glad to have you guys joining me here virtually today. You may remember me and other mad scientists from Washington Wizards games. We're the ones out there doing all those bubbling potions and slime making and all that cool stuff. And we cannot wait until next season when we're able to be out there again doing all that cool stuff with you guys. Now, in the meantime, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the science that goes into actually playing basketball because that's some pretty cool stuff to learn. And so I wanted to talk to you specifically today about one of the most important things in basketball, something that you may not think about a whole lot, and that is something called depth perception. And depth perception is our ability to tell exactly how far away things are. Now, obviously, there's a lot of ways we can tell that, right? So for example, I want you guys to take your hands and put it in front of your screen. Now, of course, many of you are covering up me. I'm covering up me. I can see myself on the screen in front of me right there, but my hand is covering me up. And if I back up, my hand can cover my whole computer, okay? Now, guys, is my hand actually bigger than my computer? No. Is it bigger than me? No. Your hand is not bigger than me or bigger than your computer either, but it is closer. So when things are closer, they appear to be bigger than things that are further. And so I could take something small like my hand and cover up something big in the distance like my computer. Now, that's obvious, right? You all knew that. So we can certainly tell when things are further away. But depth perception is more about being very precise. Because if you're going to shoot some hoops, it's really important that you know exactly how far away that basketball hoop is to make sure that your basketball lands exactly where you want it to. It's even true if you're just passing to another player but it's especially true when you are trying to make a basket. So we're gonna talk a little bit about how our brain can do that. Our brain is able to tell exactly how far things are by using both of our eyes. So I want everybody to close one of your eyes and now open it and close the other. Kind of wink back and forth with different eyes, right? Now, not everybody can do that too well, so if you have to cover one with your hand back and forth like that, that works too. So what you guys will notice is that you get a different image from your left eye than you do from your right eye. Okay, so your right eye kind of sees like everything over here and your left eye kind of sees everything over here. And there is this space in the middle, this area exactly where you're looking that both of your eyes can see. And that space right there is where we have really good depth perception. And here's how that works, is your brain takes the image from the right eye and the image from the left eye, and it brings them together and it combines them into one image. But it has more information than what we see on the sides, right? Because then we're only getting that, that stuff from one eye each, right? But the stuff in the middle, we have two different images, one from that angle, one from that angle. Our brain combines them and has a pretty good idea how far away things are. So let me show you how important it is that we use two eyes to have the best possible depth perception, okay? So first off, you can do this activity with some very basic things at home. You can do it with two coins. I have pennies, quarters would be even better. I personally like doing it with a couple of straws or pencils or something long and skinny like this. You can do something kind of thicker and skinnier like markers as well. Um, but either way, let's take a look at this. So what you're going to do is we'll start with our coins here for those of you who want to try it that way. You'll take your two coins and you're going to put them way out in front of you like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put them together and try to have them right next to each other. Try to have their edges touch just like that. Not too hard. Now I want you to either close or use something to cover one of your eyes. All right, I can wink pretty well. Not everybody can, like I said. All right, so I'm gonna close that eye and now I'm gonna try to put them together, ready? So mix up my arms a little bit and now bring them together with just one eye. I'm still watching them with that one eye and take a look guys, this time, I'll give you another angle here. You'll see that they are a little bit off, right? I did not have them touch each other even though I thought up until the last second they were about to touch. Now let me try it with just my other eye, ready? And when I do that, I was even more off. Look how far off those ones are. My whole thumb can fit in between them, even though I thought they were perfectly aligned. So I could not very well tell how far apart these were because I didn't have my whole depth perception. I can also do it with two straws here, right? Same idea. Put them together, nice and level. But then I could try it oh, back up with only one eye. Close that one. And then, even though they look level, that's pretty bad, not so great, right? 
The lesson here, of course, uh, should be obvious that if you are going to shoot some hoops and you want to try to make that basket, probably a good idea to keep both of your eyes open. But it's also important to know why uh, humans are able to shoot from a far distance and know exactly how far something is and be able to aim for it and be able to make the basket. So, hopefully you learned a little bit more about the science behind what it takes to be a great basketball player. And like I said, I hope to see you guys in person someday very soon, making some more slime and bubbling potions. Thanks for joining me in the Mad Science Lab today, guys. I'll see you later.